All the Brilliant, only blind. Emily's would kill us. I'd kill you. Why are we killing each other? Uh, Oliver is HIV positive. Laurel was just saying that she would kill me if I had sex with him before my prep kicks in. Wait, he has HIV and you're gonna have sex with him? Yes, lots of sex. Dude, no. Look, I, I get the old man probably has a really sweet ass and all, but you could like die. Hey guys. Hey, hey Oliver. What are you doing How's it here? going? Oh, so many questions <laughs> from so many different people. Oliver. Hey, I'm Asher. I'm sure the Sea Dogs told you all about me. I'm his uh, straight bro is totally down with all your gay stuff. Right. Hey, hold up, man. Good. Asher. And I just want to uh, say that talking. I have all the respect in the world for what you're dealing with, and Philadelphia is one of my favorite movies. And I just, I think you're really brave, man. Like Oliver. I hate you. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't explain why you tell strangers something I haven't even told my parents yet. I'm saying it's not 1995, you don't need to be ashamed. Oh, apparently I do, according to your bro who thinks I'm dying. Asher's an idiot. No, you're the idiot because you told him. It's hard to explain, but everyone in there, we, we know a lot about each other, even the really bad things. Oh, yeah, yeah. like the no, fact that I'm positive. I, I didn't, that came out wrong. Not everything is coming out of your mouth wrong. What's next, you want to finally ask how I got it? Because no, you know, if, if, if I'm being really honest, you should be happy I haven't told you. That's how different we are. I keep my mouth shut about things that'll hurt you. What do you mean hurt me? Doesn't matter, just, here you go. Keys to our apartment, but don't feel like you have to be in a rush to use them. It's that easy to hack into? Yep. I'm surprised my blabbermouth boyfriend hasn't told you already. I am so sorry about that. Asher's a jackass. That's what I said. Hey, buddy. You're not allowed to talk right now. Consider it practice for keeping your mouth shut. Sorry about your fiance. Oh, did Connor open up his big mouth about that too? <laughs> yep, said he was maybe bi or something. Let's not talk about it. No, let's. Let's talk about how you have terrible taste in men. I mean, like that guy at the courthouse today, how do you say no to that? Uh, he wasn't my type. What's your type, gay? <laughs> I'm with Oliver. You don't get to talk anymore. Well, speaking from experience, I say go out on the date. I mean, look at me, I never thought I'd end up with a self-absorbed pretty boy. Here's what's fair. I hurt you and I hate myself for that. And the only way I see us getting past this is if you hurt me back. Like punch you or something? Tell me how you got it. Doesn't matter. It's what I deserve, Oliver. Like you said. Do it. Hurt me. I can take it. I was a mess after you cheated on me. Like, I didn't get out of bed for a week. I just kept Googling that guy you hooked up with and staring at his abs. My friends forced me to go out. Get laid, they said, rebound the pain away. So I went to this bar, did shots, many, many shots, and I ended up going on some guy. Barely remember anything. Like, if I saw him on the street, I wouldn't even recognize him. So, yeah, that's the long, sad, cliche story of how I got it. Because I cheated on you. No, not really. It was my bad decision you know, that you made because of me. It's my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault.